this is my first devlog of the Slash project. I've been on it for two weeks and it has enough now to show you around. First is a basic set of movement with a chibi style scaling. I went for this primarily just to justify the elastic and goofy animation you can have. The camera is still the Roblox one, the difference is that the final position has like an offset in front of the root part and has been sweated out by the layup. And also I'm a grass. I, yeah. They cannot generate far away as you walk by and they're also interactable with the skill you use. Kind of like a like a wind effect. Now under the main feature, so the mob, they will have a set of hit effect. But the way they handle your attack will depend. Well, for now it already depends on the weight class. The barrel mob looks heavier, so there's less knockback by default. But it's also going to be a skill that I like a type of grab command, where they'll only work on lower class mob. The goal with substat like these is to make some classes like rug to be meta on a specific range of mobs and possibly Great Sword being better for bosses not because of a DPS difference but more so because Great Sword will have boss compatible stun to apply and now here's my greatest implementation since it's a PvE I've written a bunch of local prediction basically if you ever had 300 ping like I do in this test station it will take 0.3 seconds to display the knockback and the hit effect the first hitbox prediction are client sided so mobs will keep up with your chain combo concerning server lag the mobs are not humanoid, these mobs are not using Roblox object at all. And all the server do is giving new coordinates for your PC to animate their path. They only have horizontal calculation, so they have no gravity at all. Adding vertical check would triple the calculation done per mobs. So I decided to not support floor with angles. But I think it's a good trade-off in exchange for displaying more mobs. What do you think? 